Hi, I'm Naidan Sari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about two important nodes in Contrary that is too much important, and I'm gonna show you everything about them. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, in here, I have third person template in Unreal Engine 5, and I wanna create a Contrary. So, I should go to Skeletal Mesh, right click, and create a Contrary, right? So, no, no, that is created. Let's just double click on it to open it, and in here, if you didn't watch my last video, just watch it and you know what is forward solve mean. And the first note that I'm going to talk about is, so basic fabric note. Just click on it and what it do, it will make your life very much easier. I don't know how to call it. Let me just show you. First of all, let's just connect this execution pin to here. And it needs some items, right, to control, right, to control it for you. So, for example, with the right hand, we want to open the door, right? So we can, when it want to go forward and open the door, when it go forward, these bones should change, these bones, it should lean forward and all of that, right? We can, of course, we can do it with the regular controls and set bone and all of that, but there is an easy way with fabric, uh, fabric, basic fabric node. So first of all, it needs some node. And one way to do it, we can just have plus in here. And for example, we want to say from this node, for example, that is spine five. From spine five forward, let's just go down. From here, we want to um, lean forward. Or we can just go to spine one, right? So from spine one, we can say the item number zero is because we selected over here, we can just click in here to put it in there, right? <laughs> right now, it's, it's a mess. But when we create it, you will get the idea so next one is an, uh, another bone that is called a spine tool so let's just put it in there and again we should go to a spine tree so let's just do that for a spine tree the one way is to do it like this but a better way to do it is to remove all of these right so we can remove all of these and create a arrays of the bones so for example we want to uh, with hand we want to change the spine one spine two spine three spine four spine five and after that for example let's just collapse the, this clavicle clavicle r upper arm lower arm and hand r and all of this we want it to be in this item so all of these bones should change when the hand want to open the door for example we can drag and drop from here to here and in here create an item array that is important create an item array and with that we can just connect this item array to here right now you can see it's a mess but but in here if we go down and find the hand r for example right click on it go to new and create a control for that no, with that control, we can get it in here and set the effector for this fabric node with this one in here. No, everything cool, right? Everything is working fine. <laughs> Our body is not uh, a mess. But if we change the position of this, no, you can see it changed all the other bones. So it met the requirement to hand to be here. You can see. So, for example, this one. So, in here, for example, we want to select this control. And let's just say we want to open the door. You can see it will lean forward for us so we can open a door. You can see it, it is really cool, right? Let's just go to character, go to bones and tell it to not select anything so we can see it clearly. It will change everything accordingly. And you can see everything cool. It's like somebody grabbing its hand and, um, <laughs> and pulling it, right? And it's so simple to do. We can do that for the foot as well it's so easy so let me show you for, for foot as well so in here let's just collapse this one so we can find it correctly so for example from this to this to foot and this tree we want to use it on the fabric right and again we can create an array from this by dragging and dropping it so let's just make this a little bit small so we can see it and we need another fabric for the foot and let's just connect this to here we have the array so let's just connect that there and we with the foot we can right click and create a new control for the foot so we can use it as a effector right the effector transform so let's just connect it there no let's just see what happened if we change the foot and you can see all the bones is changing the, its position so it can meet the requirement and if we go to foot control again and change this um, uh, ELR transform control type to for example vector 2D you can see this red square popping up in here and <laughs> we can limit everything I did talk about uh, limiting things but you know it we can limit everything so for example for the minimum I want to say minus 50 minus 50 and for the max I want it to be 50 and 50 right 
So no over foot can go around this and everything cool, right? Without any basic IK and do all of these primary access, secondary access and all of that. I wanted to do another note in this video. I'm sorry about it. But the next bone is too much important to talk about it in just this video because in that note, we can make a lot more limitation to these bones. So it will be more realistic to create more realistic and easier, easier to create animation because in there we have, we can can define a lot of limitation in this fabric uh, node you can see there is a precision that is ju just a precision if you want to change this control it should uh, go to there exactly or not or wait for example 0.5 so it will uh, use 50% of this position so in the next video we're gonna talk about that node that is too much important so please please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye <laughs> Oh,